after two years of helping with food distributions, COVID testing, and staffing at the Blaisdell Vaccination Clinic, the Royal Hawaiian Band held a full performance today back at the Ilani Palace. Bryce Moore has the story. There was a celebratory atmosphere here at the palace where sounds of Hawaii filled the air after 24 months of silence. The Royal Hawaiian Bandmaster says it's about time. Can. We've weathered through two years of this, and uh, after we got back to rehearsal, we realized that we were just as good or better. So we're really, really excited to get back to show the community what they've been missing with their band. Safety precautions are still in place. The ensemble sits six feet apart from one another, but Bright says restrictions and requirements for the audience won't be necessary. And we're going to put about a 10-foot distance from us and the audience. Uh, we're going to make programs available, but we don't need to check vaccination records or anything else. Cynthia Jetner, a Mililani resident, brought her friend visiting from Alaska to the performance. So he's here visiting on vacation, and I said, "Ah, oh, I've got a treat for you. Royal Hawaiian Band is meeting again, finally, and performing down at the palace. So he gets to see Royal Hawaiian Band today. <laughs> The Royal Hawaiian Band has several free performances for the public in the coming weeks. We'll have a full list on KHON2.com. So we just want to be able to get back to show people how important the band is and get into the healing process of music, the arts, culture, song, and dance. We need it now more than ever. Bryce Moore, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.